we will have a look into the Android boot process, which is nothing less than a chain reaction. The hardware is programmed to read from EL3 and it has a boot ROM which cannot be tampered with and it has a public key of the device vendor. This public key is used to verify the signature which is stored in all the upcoming stages. Then we get to EL2 which loads Android bootloader into the memory. An Android bootloader my friend is the one which needs to be unlocked if you want to install custom ROMs on your Android device. By default Android bootloader loads boot.img into the RAM and it finally sparks the user mode in it which starts many native C, C++ processes which will stay there forever and finally it starts Zygote. So Zygote is the parent process for any app process that will be created from here on. So Zygote initializes Dalvik VM because it is required to run your Java or Kotlin code. The first fork that happens on Zygote is the system server, which actually contains all the framework services. Finally, whenever you start an app, a new process gets forked from Zygote.